Okay, so DLSS 4.5 just dropped, and half of you are asking, how do I actually enable this? Because NVIDIA's documentation is useless, and every Reddit thread has conflicting info. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to install and configure DLSS 4.5, show you how to verify it's working, and give you the settings that make sense for your GPU. By the end, you'll have DLSS 4.5 running properly, and know how to troubleshoot when games break stuff. Let's go. First, what is DLSS 4.5, and why does it matter? It's NVIDIA's latest AI upscaling that uses a completely new transformer model. Compared to DLSS 4.0, you're getting better image quality, less ghosting on moving objects, better temporal stability, meaning less flickering, and cleaner anti-aliasing on fine details. On RTX 40 and 50 series, DLSS 4.5 uses FP8 acceleration on tensor cores, so it performs the same or better than DLSS 4 while looking sharper. On RTX 20 and 30 series, you can still run it, but you'll take a small performance hit, like 2-4% to slower, because your GPU doesn't have the hardware acceleration. Compatibility checklist before we start. GPU requirement. You need RTX 20 series or newer, any 20, 30, 40, or 50 series. If you're on GTX 10 series or older, you can't use DLSS at all. Driver requirement. You need driver 591.74 or newer. This is non-negotiable. To check your current driver, right-click desktop. Click NVIDIA control panel. Bottom left shows your driver version. If you're older than 591.74, you need to update. I have a full video on clean driver installation using DDU and NV clean install. Link in description. Game support. Right now, Cyberpunk 2077, new Spider-Man game, Resident Evil 9 day 1, and basically any game launching in 2026 will have DLSS 4.5. Older games with DLSS 3 or 4 will get updated over next few months. Windows requirement. Windows 10 or 11 both work. Method A. The recommended way for 95% of you. Driver plus NVIDIA app. Once you have driver 591.74 installed, DLSS 4.5 is already enabled at the driver level. You don't need to download anything separately. Open the NVIDIA app, not GeForce Experience, the new NVIDIA app that replaced it. If you don't have it, download from NVIDIA's website. Open the app, go to Drivers tab. Should show driver 591.74 installed. Now launch your game. I'm using Cyberpunk as the example. Go to Settings, then Graphics. Scroll to Ray Tracing section. You'll see DLSS Super Resolution. Click the drop-down. You'll see Quality, Balanced, Performance, and Ultra Performance. Here's what these actually mean. Quality mode renders at 67% of your target resolution, then upscales. So 4K quality renders at about 1440p, then uses AI to upscale to 4K. Best image quality looks almost identical to native. You get 30 to 40% more FPS. Balanced mode renders at 58%, slightly lower internal resolution, more FPS boost but slightly softer. Performance mode renders at 50%, exactly half your resolution. 4K performance is rendering at 1080p. You get 50 to 60% more FPS, but image is noticeably softer. Ultra performance renders at 33%, only worth using for 8K or if your GPU is way too weak for your resolution. Image quality takes a hit, but FPS basically doubles. For RTX 50 series cards, you'll also see DLSS frame generation with multiplier option. Goes up to six times now. Your GPU GPU renders one frame. AI generates five additional frames in between. So 60 FPS base becomes 360 FPS. Sounds insane, but there's a catch. Input lag stacks up with every generated frame. Six times frame gen only feels good if your base frame rate is already 50 to 60 FPS minimum. If you're at 30 FPS base trying to use six times, your mouse feels like it's moving through mud. For competitive games or fast reactions, stick to two times or four times max. For single player cinematic games, six times is fine. Method B, the advanced way I don't recommend unless method A doesn't work. Manually updating the DLSS DLL file per game. Some older games ship with an old DLSS DLL that doesn't support 4.5 even with latest driver. You can manually replace the DLL to force DLSS 4.5. Go to Tech Power Up, search DLSS DLL download, grab latest version which should be 3.8.0 or newer. Extract nvxg underscore DLSS dot DLL. Go to your game's install folder. For Steam, that's usually program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, then game name. Look for engine, binaries, Win64, or plugins folder. Find the existing nvngx underscore dlss dot dll file. Back up the original, rename it to nvngor underscore dlss dot dll dot backup. Paste the new dll and overwrite. Launch game. DLSS 4.5 should now be available. Only do this if in-game dlss isn't working properly. Settings optimization and verification. Here's what you should use based on your GPU. RTX 2060, 2070, 3060. Use performance mode. RTX 3070, 3080, 4060 Ti, 4070. Use balanced at 4K, quality at 1440p. RTX 4080, 4090, 5070, 5080. Use quality at 4K. RTX 5090. Use quality with frame gen up to four times. To verify DLSS 4.5 is active, enable in-game FPS counter. In Cyberpunk, settings, interface, enable FPS counter. You should see noticeable FPS increase versus native. For technical verification, check DLL version. Go to game folder, find nvngx underscore dlss.dll, right-click, properties, details tab. File version should be 3.8.0, 
4.0 or higher. If 3.7 or lower, you're still on DLSS 4.0. Common issues and fixes. Issue 1. DLSS option grayed out or missing. Fix. Make sure you have driver 591.74 or newer. Restart PC after installing driver. Verify game supports DLSS by checking PC gaming wiki. Some games only added DLSS in specific patches. Issue 2. Performance worse after enabling DLSS 4.5 on RTX 30 series. This is expected because RTX 30 doesn't have FP8 acceleration. You can manually downgrade to DLSS 4.0 DLL if you want better performance. Issue 3. Visual artifacts like ghosting or flickering. Usually happens in performance or ultra performance because internal resolution is so low. Switch to quality or balanced. If still bad, some games just have poor DLSS implementation. Issue 4. Game crashes when enabling frame generation. Make sure you're on RTX 50 series. Older cards don't support multi-frame gen. Also check CPU isn't bottlenecking. If CPU usage at 100%, frame gen causes crashes. Quick demo so you see the difference. I'm in Cyberpunk. Enable frame gen four times on top of DLSS quality. Looks smooth as hell, but you feel the input lag if you're aiming precisely. For driving around or exploring, it's amazing. For combat, turn frame gen down to two times. Bottom line, if you have an RTX card and updated to driver 591.74, DLSS 4.5 is already installed. Just go into game settings. Enable DLSS super resolution. Pick quality or balance depending on your GPU. You're done. For RTX 50 series, experiment with frame gen, but don't just crank it to six times because more frames doesn't always mean better experience. If you want the full technical breakdown comparing DLSS 4.5 versus DLSS 4, that's my next video, so subscribe. Drop a comment if you have a specific game where DLSS isn't working, and I'll try to help. I'll see you in the next one.